Welcome back, Texas City Managers. Silly Seville to provide another important message from the food safety goddess Melissa, all knowing, all powerful. And this message concerns cottage food. You know, if you have a cottage out in the middle of the forest, how you doing? <laughs> Temporary food, hmm, makes you wonder. Move food, so you can walk around, drive around. Okay, now, here's the message. Cottage food operation, okay, and uh, Little Red Riding Hood stuff, frequently, frequently asked question. Uh, I forgot where this came from, I've slept since then, but it, I like it, so I'm going to present. What is cottage food production operation? Well, good qu glad you asked. Let me answer. Cottage food production operation is defined as an individual operate. Out of the vegetables home, who produces baked good, candy, coated and uncoated nuts, uh, depending on how nutty you are, and, yes, and roasted nut butter, butter, even canned jelly or jam, you know, uh, fruits that are jamming out, a fruit pie, yummy, dehydrated fruits, vegetable, including dry beans, uh, dry beans, um, how do you need a dry bean? Popcorn, popcorn snacks, not really sure the difference there. Cereal, including granola. Dry mix, uh, dry mix. Mm -hmm. Vinegar, pickles, mustard, roasted coffee, yummy, or a dry tea, or a dried herb, or a dried herb mix. Has an annual gross income of 50000 or less from the sale of the side foods. Holy crap. <laughs> A cottage food operation that can generate 50000 in profit? Boy, I bow to you. <laughs> um, restaurants, bars, then, you know, being around downtown Austin, uh, a lot of them change hands on a yearly basis um, because that idea didn't work. And when you buy a commercial property, here it is, have fun. And the normal amount of the rehab, uh, uh, you see, building codes change, okay, well, it might have been this then, now it's this, you have to bring the building up the code, produce the atmosphere that you think will work, which usually means gutting the place, uh, that's pretty normal, about 200 grand we're talking, okay, and off we go, the benchmark, it, for bar and restaurant, uh, 100000 a month problem. You know, we should easily pay for, pay back the $200,000 loan that you talk to the bank in the giving. And if this artistic idea of yours, certainly to the point works, you'll be around a few years from now. If not, you won't. <laughs> well, uh, try. Uh, but, you know, if, if a regular restaurant, Bar, their goal is a hundred thousand. You know, <laughs> Cot you know, this little cottage making fifty thousand. Boy, I take my hat. <laughs> uh, I want to know how you did it. Sell the foods produced directly to consumers at the investors' home, farmers' market, farm stand, or <laughs> wait, Nashville County, or non-profit fair, event, festival, or event, and. Pretty wide open area, delivers products to the consumer at one of sale or another location. In other words, not mailed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a cottage food production operation, a food service establishment. Well, fortunately, you know. Cottage food oper uh, production operation is not a food establishment. Well, why am I eating this one? <laughs> what is the definition of baked good? Hmm. Well, maybe it's that you bake it. Let's see. A baked good is a food item prepared by baking the item in an oven. Hey, I was right. <laughs> Which includes cookies, cakes, breads, danishes. Well, I don't live in Denmark, but anyway. Pastries, pies, and other items that are prepared by baking. What are some examples of foods that can be prepared 
and it comes to traction average. Hmm, let me see. The following are examples of non potential hazards for that, that, that's the whole thing here. Non TCS foods, nah. It's non TCS, uh huh. <laughs> they may be prepared and sold at a little cottage out in the middle of the forest. <laughs> Breads, rolls, biscuits, no. Go to grandma's house for a cookie. <laughs> Sweet breads, muffins, cakes. Uh, birthday wedding, whether it's to a gay couple or a straight couple, doesn't matter. And <laughs> anniversary, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. You want a cake? You want a cake? Right. <laughs> Pastry, cookie, candy, coated and uncoated nuts. Okay. Unrusted nut butter, unrusted nut, but no, fruit batter, but uh, batter, fruit butters, fruit butter, canned uh, jams and jellies, you know, fruits that are jamming out, fruit pies, dehydrated fruits, vegetables, including dry beans. Now, popcorn, popcorn snacks, oh, da -da -da, popcorn in, cereal, including granola, dry mixes, uh, vinegar, <laughs> you want to sell vinegar. I lived in the Philippines for several years, and uh, Monongetis would climb coconut trees, coconut wine, and if you left that uh, for a few days, it would become vinegar, and that was vinegar in the Philippines. <laughs> um, late uh, coconut wine produced from uh, coconut tree. Anyway, pickles. I don't want a pickle, just want to ride my motorcycle. <laughs> Mustard, rusted coffee, dried tea, dried herb, and dried herb mixes. What types of food are not allowed? No nose at your cottage out in the forest. Now, following food examples food that cannot be no nose produced by. Uh, food production operation. You will notice that they will mostly be TCS food, fresh, you right meat, <laughs> uh, meat products. There are meat products. I don't care if you're jerky or not. No, uh, you know we're not jerking your ass. <laughs> Can't do it. Canned fruits. No, poor fruit, vegetables, vegetable butters, that salsa. You know, not to dance the sauce. Kalachis with meat, fish, fishy things or shellfishy things product, canned pickle product, such as corn relish, sauerkraut, and uh, not in Germany, so raw seed sprout because organic farm, baker goods which require any type of refrigeration because you have tasty ass food, <laughs> such as cream, custard, wearing pies, cake pastry with Cream, cheese, ice, or filling. Now, milk and dairy products, like, duh. You can't go home, milk a cow, go out, no, out front, sell it. <laughs> um, fresh fruits, definitely not unfresh fruits. <laughs> Dip to go to chocolate or similar. Uh, confection, fresh vegetable, and juices made from fruit juices or vegetables because once you slice into it, um, you screw up their whole defense plan. Ice, ice part. Um, now, barbecue sauce and ketchup. Uh, because, you know, the ingredients there, uh, yeah, a lot of it's TCS and you know you can't do this in your little cottage in the forest. Uh, Focusina. I uh, don't know what that means. Sour bread with vegetables or cheese. Chocolate covered graham crackers. Then you see we're going here TCS food. Rice Krispies treats. Um, dried pasta. Hmm. Sauerkraut, relish, tosses, sorghum, um, lemonade, juices, hot chocolate, similar product. Now, 
What is the potential of this food? Uh, time temperature control for safety food. Well, we used to, you know, get away with PHF. Now we gotta go with TCF. Next year, we'll tell what it'll be called. A potentially hazardous food is a food that requires time and temperature control for safety. You know, you know, you can't just do this any way you want. Limit pathogenic growth or toxin production. In other words, a food must be held under proper temperature control such as refrigeration to prevent the growth of microorganisms that could make you sick and kill you, okay? VHF, TCS food is a food that, well, it's an animal, what does it need? Protein, water, and the right pH. Can't be a cell without the right pH, okay? Gomenosai, which is Japanese for sorry. Well, may cottage food production, CFPI, oh, well, that sounds kind of official, sell product. A CFPO may sell products, the individual's home, stand out front, you know, you know. Uh, Peanuts Lucy's cart, uh, Farmer's Market, Farm Stand, Municipal Fair, Festival Event, County Fair, Festival Event, and a non-profit fair, I don't remember any of those, Festival Event. Huh? Yeah. Now, may I see a field sell products anywhere else? That's a state fair or federal event. Statue specifies particular locations for CFPO food. CFPO may sell products and go to properly organized special events and other occasions. I'm not allowed on this state. Uh, well, I guess it's, I don't know. Uh, can I use the internet? Well, yeah, come on now. You're in a cottage at the forest. You don't have internet connection. <laughs> no. Food produced <laughs> that a cottage food production operation cannot be sold through the internet. You don't know anything about it. <laughs> By mail, no, you can't ship it to them. It'd be <laughs> horrible when they get there. Or a wholesale. In other words, it has to be sold connect directly to the consumer. Can I make cottage food products in another building on my property? No. <laughs> Can't do it in your garage <laughs> where you work on your car. <laughs> Law requires cottage food products to be produced in a primary residence where you have hopefully reasonable, you know, facilities for doing that. That ain't the kitchen, duh. And appliances designed for common residents for use. They're not, you know, restaurant grade, but, you know, where since it's non TCS, you know, we think we pull it off. <laughs> is labor required, duh, on food items produced by food, called food production operator? Well, <laughs> come on now, yes, food sold by cottage food production operator must be packaged and labeled. <laughs> what the hell is this? You know, <laughs> no. <laughs> the food must be packed in a manner that prevents product contamination. You know, some of these packaging nowadays, you know, requires science degree to get into. <laughs> you know, don't have to go that far, except foods that are too large and or bucky for conventional packaging. Um, I guess, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, labeling information foods that are not packaged must be provided to the consumer on an invoice or receipt. You know, basic business stuff, you know. Invoice receipt. The label must include the following information. The name and address. Yeah, crap. The, uh, the name and address of co the cottage food op production operation. The common or usual name of the product. You know, can't have all this French writing on it. You know, people don't understand. If food is made with major food allergen, see what happens when you don't silence your cell phone? Now, such as egg, nut, soy, peanuts, milk, or wheat, that ingredients must be listed on the label and a statement means in writing <laughs> this food is made from a home kitchen. 
not inspected by wonderful people at the Department of State Health Service or local health department. Uh, eat at your own risk, basically. Labels must be legible. Yeah, a lot of them you have to have a microscope to read them, but I guess that's still legible. Uh, do I need a permit or license for my cottage food production? Well, mm, no, you do not need a permit or license from Texas Department of State Health Service to operate a little cottage in the forest. Is there a limit to how much I can earn for my cottage food up? Boy, here again, if you're making 50 grand selling food out of your own home, boy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to come there and beg for how you do this. <laughs> anyway. Is there a process for submitting a complaint? Of course. Oh, yes. Um, if you want to bitch about it, complaint may be submitted to Texas Department of State Health Service for COTS production and operations located under DSA. Here's the website. You know, we get calls all the time. So, I went here and ate this. You know, and, you know, why are you talking to the wrong people? And the guy here is you know, who you call. Is the cottage food production operator is located in a, in a jurisdiction of a local body? That complaints must be okay. You know, if you're in City Austin, you, you have a bitch about the rest of them. There you go, come back. You know, City Austin, not us. <laughs> Well, the Department of State Health Service conduct inspection at Cottage Foods Opera. No, we're trusting you because non TCS. Texas the Pirate State Health Service does not have a to conduct inspection at a cottage food production opera. However, the department may investigate a complaint regarding preparation of potential has food at a private rent. The department has authority, believe me, to act to prevent an immediate and serious threat to human health, um, well, probably any health, or health through emergency order, recall order, delegation, powers, and duty. Right, now, on we go. Let's see. Well, I need to comply with local zoning or other laws. Well, a municipal zoning ordinance may not prohibit the use of a home or cottage food production operation. Pretty much well answers that. Please contact the local municipal government agencies for requirement concerning zoning. In other words, uh, part of the zoning ordinance is not <laughs> have anything to do with cottage food. Can a Cottage food, not cottage cheese, cottage food production operation delivered food produced by the operation to the customer who purchased. Right. Well, yeah, you can drive it over the front. Cottage food production operation may deliver right, to the cook, whoever's going to eat it at the point of home or in the location designated by consumer. Meet me at Walmart, I guess. I don't know. What are pickles? I don't want a pickle. I want to ride my motor sugar. <laughs> Remember that song? <laughs> Pickles are made from cucumbers. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> that have been preserved in vinegar, brine, or a similar solution. Only pickled cucumbers are allowed under cottage food law. You know, no pickled pig's feet. No, no pickled who knows what. All other pickled vegetables are prohibited. My God, it's scary, right? Now, federal requirements uh, we're dealing with fed now <coughs> have been established for production of a certified food for foods such as pickles. If foods are sold across state lines, no, now you, now you got to get into it. Then the federal requirement would have to apply. FDI, FDI. <laughs> If the uh, FDA uh, regulates interstate commerce, you know, can't live in Oklahoma, so sorry. Federal requirements also apply because you produce purchase supplies of states. All got to be here in Texas. Texas made, girl. Well, as cautionary measure, you may wish to take the federal course if you didn't sell pickles. 
Oh, if you just really into it, <laughs> and the guy's food loss. I'm a pickle eater. <laughs> now, subchapter 8 requirements applicable to certain establishments. This is from the Food Safety Bible, GFER. Thus saith the Lord, Mobile Food Unit Prevent. In general, except this otherwise provided in this paragraph, in paragraph 2, as you read below, the regulatory authority, guess who that is, may impose additional requirements to protect against health hazards whilst while they're there related to the conduct of food establishment, you know, as a mobile operation. Just because you don't have a permit, things still got to do certain things, may prohibit sale. Uh, some are all, uh, TCS food, and we know health food, you know, in other words, you can, you know, you may check it out, there's not an issue, you think it should work, may waive or modify a crime, of this rule, to this, the selling, the regulatory target shall require a mobile food op unit operator to demonstrate that the vehicle's mobile. Well, mobile food. Okay. Uh, the walk, you know, a restricted operation. Mobile food units. Here's the difference restricted and unrestricted. Restricted mobile food units that serve only food that is prepared, packaged, that individuals serve, transported, and stored under conditions meeting the requirements of this chapter. Or beverages that are non DCS food and are dispensed from governors. Little big tea thing, you see. Um, well, other protected equipment, they have a security guard there standing by. <laughs> Need to comply with the requirements of these rules pertaining uh, to the cleaning, sanitation, and shipping, nor to those requirements pertaining. To the cleaning, sanitizing, well, you know, that's what always has to go on here. Uh, equipment, utensils, well, you got to use it. If required equipment or cleaning and sanitization exists at a central preparation facility. In other words, yep, it, they did it right, um, you're good to go. Ready to move them, okay? I don't care if you have to get out and push it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> All right. <coughs> um. Uh. Yeah, where was I? I lost track. Uh. Uh, there we go, I screwed up. The regulatory authority prohibits alter, remove, uh, remove, attachment, adjustments, placements, or change in, under or under, under or upon. Okay, under or upon. Okay, I got that. <laughs> well, no matter where you're under or over. Uh, the mobile food unit, <laughs> that would prevent or otherwise reduce. Already built. Regulatory authority may require a mobile food unit to come come to me on a basis as often as required. Hmm, how much do I trust you? To the location, well, I guess where that's going to be at, as proof that the mobile food is well. Well, if you can push it down here, I guess some mobile food. <laughs> yeah. uh, show up sweating. <laughs> Black dash. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. All in both. Additional permitting. Regulatory authority. Shall we go ahead and put you to come to a location? Guess where that's going to be up. Uh, most of you must be totally oper operable. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, that's what we're looking at. Including but not limited to 
Hand washing, here we go again, boy. That I mean that's you know got you know, it's gotta be a center pit uh, pillar in any food establishment. Um you see refrigeration and dishwater disposal. Um I worked at a food cart for years, that usually means um the water goes out into a tank a little spigot on that side, you know. Go drain it somewhere. Um, required documentation to have available and clues. You gotta have a CF, you gotta have a certified food manager, one of us, you know, someone who actually knows what they're doing. Central preparation, silly operation, if yeah, right. Sign letter of author authorization is required to verify facility if the central preparation facility is not owned. By the money. Right, I guess someone else owns it and you're running it. Central preparation facility inspection report. A copy of the most current health, you know, you know, you go down there and pay all this money, you know, at least keep 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 piece of paper that keep you back, right? Um gotta be hanging around somewhere, uh servicing Area authorization, a sign letter of authorization, maybe claim, you know, doesn't have to be by the president, but, you know, regulatory authority to verify. Service area use, if service area is not owned by the mobile food, food I see, mobile unit operator. Menu of all food items, so, you know, you have to tell them, okay, we're selling this, we're not selling drugs, <laughs> something, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. Single surface use articles. You know, when you walk up to a food cart, I mean, they don't give you tableware, you know, silver um, um, spoon because probably they won't get them back. A and B. <laughs> they wouldn't be properly washing. Most few food units. Shall provide only single surface on plastic boom equipment, numbers, and equipment. Um, okay. Cooling, heating, and holding capacity. Equipment for cooling and heating food. And hot holding cold and hot food. Probably either to hold cold food than hot food. You know, we shall be sufficient in the capacity. Provide food temperature. As specified under uh, some chapter C, if you can ever find it, <laughs> this rule. Now, manual wear washing. Uh, I mean, by hand, uh, sink, compartment, compartment, three compartment, sink, you know, blah, 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 a sink, with that is three compartments, so we provide it for manual washing, we some tiny thing. And of course, well, you know, I've never seen a food cart yet that had, you know, three compartments sink. <laughs> Because, well, you know, you're supposed to because, like, if you drop a spatula, it has to be cleaned somehow. And, well, but, you know, you got this little cart. You don't have room for all this stuff. Um, um, geez. Geez, Louise. Uh, sick compartments shall be large enough well, uh, to accommodate a motion of large equipment and utensils. You know, when you go from a restaurant to a food cart, I mean, you gotta, you know, I don't think about what's going on here. Um, at least one hand washing sink. <laughs> I can't imagine a little food cart with two hand washing sink, can you? <laughs> Shall be available for. Uh, well, they're standing right there. It's pretty convenient. <laughs> Fair employees <laughs> improperly, but uh, it isn't. I guess that means not bending over. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, I'm not dying. No. Mobile water system material. Design and operate. Mobile food unit water system. You know, well, you know, better. Here's, here we go. Mobile food what, unit intake. Mobile food units water intake. Has to be three quarter or less. Well, I, I've never seen anyone go up there and measure it. <laughs> basically, basically well, you know, you don't need this. Well, it's all to fill up no water and tank by the cart. 
right? <laughs> Provide with a hose connection of a size and type that will prevent this use. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, actually, you know, the, um, it's going to be connected. I mean, it's not going to have a hose. You can use it to water your lawn with water. Fill hose and water hose tanks so be labeled as potable water. I hadn't seen that yet. Pretty obvious. Yeah. Sewage and other liquid waste. You know, horrible topics. Waste retention. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you know, let's see. What do you need that correct? <laughs> if liquid waste results from operation of mobile food, you know, they waste shall be stored in a permanently installed. Retention tank, which they all have. Um, you know, so, you know, water flows uphill, downhill. You know, in the plumber turn up, so, so the water retention tank is in the bottom of the cart. You know, not front sticks. Well, not front sticks. It's a little spigot. It's you turn up, get rid of stuff. Size so at least fifteen percent low. You can pass me. I don't know if they're going to go through the science on that. Slope to drain, I don't know if they're going to go through that. All connections on vehicles, so you can roll with food, you know, waste flows for sure. Uh, tell me you have a different size to type that those plenty put it. What? All connections on the vehicle for servicing. Um, okay. Well, you're on your own on that one. Yeah, this size liquid waste shall not. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can't turn on go down the road. Flushing a waste through tension tank. Well, you know, but they handle a lot more to it than that. They think a liquid waste retention shall be, you know, thoroughly flushed and drained. Another thing I've never seen. Yep. And maybe mobile food, you know, wait. So it's sewage. Why are you going to have sewage? You know, damn. Oh, you know, never, you know. Uh, not sewage. The uh, other liquid waste shall be removed from both of you uh, and approved waste servicing area. Yeah, right. <laughs> or by a sewage transport vehicle in such way. Public health have a nuisance. I mean, you know, being food cut doesn't have restrooms in it, you know. Uh, you know, your for having a restroom is the bar restaurant right by it. Um, um, liquid waste holding tanks that we like. <laughs> well, both of you water and wastewater exemption. A roadside vendor, <laughs> well, it's go pee behind a tree, dude. It has only pre packaged foods exempt from these rules. Same, the water and wastewater. <sighs> now, most food you that prepares food. Requiring no other for operation. <clears throat> Can't think of what that might be. Uh, and no hit, well, it has to be pre packaged. And, uh, you know, here's this stuff in the package. Here you go. Uh, to exempt from these rules, of course, pertaining to water, waste water. Because there ain't not. <laughs> Chemically treated toilets for hand washing. Maybe it's. Oh, that's nice of you. Uh, got. Oh, we're moving forward. Toilet rooms, come on now. A little food cart. Um, what that means is a restaurant, you know, bar, tree, <laughs> close by. <laughs> uh, see, uh, supplies clean and the servicing operation. Mobile food unit shall operate from a. No, in other words, uh, uh, okay, you got a food cart, right? You're supposed to go, you know, park it. By this restaurant, um, um, that is called the commissary, and um, um, you have to talk them into saying that you know, <laughs> you know, food's prepared there, and uh, <laughs> other food, food establishment and shell put such location data for five clean servicing operation. Okay, well, construction. Essential preparation for selling or other fixed foods and service establishment. Okay, use the base of operation for mobile food unit shall be constructed. Okay, um, can't be one of these peanuts loose looking things. 
And I'll bring the glass, promise, uh, you know. Now, protect me. Protect me, Mrs. Wizard. I feel the mother of food, you know, so everything is so unclear at least. Over here, protect me. <laughs> That's nice as we spot can't rain in, you know. Uh, cleaning, servicing, both of those used only for loving, uh, whatever sides of suits. The other way, to the survey system clothes need not be provided. <laughs> Crazy, right? Now, and then the servicing area, the location provided for, yep, no, pushing the handle, <laughs> and it's legal. Um, no, no. Shall be separate from the location provided, hot, potable, <laughs> Big difference in potable and portable, but uh, this is potable, portable, but uh, anyway, what is that? Ever loading and all your food and raise the clip. Servicing area will not be required, I'll be down. We're only packaged food and well, mm, place. Mobile food unit, or where mobile food unit? You're not contained. Waste. Well, I haven't seen one yet done, but there might be some. Pot potable water service room sim. Then get past this topic. Now, all right. Now we come to book 228.222 of the OETFR temporary food assembly. In general, the regulatory authority, guess who that is, may impose additional requirements. They don't trust you. <laughs> To protect you, half is related to the conduct, your conduct. <laughs> Take very food seven, may prohibit. Well, imagine that the sale. Some are all TCS food, and when no health has it, that they can see the results, such as children's neighborhood beverages. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, no, they go up front selling lemonade. May waive or modify the requirements of this rule. Well, yeah, this is ridiculous. Seven yum. Foods that are prepared on site or that require extensive preparation. You know, could take years. <laughs> the cooking must be prepared and a licensed food establishment. Now, each temporary establishment may be required by the regulator to have at least one person. Well, Goodness, who has a minimum of an accredited food hand? So, let's see, temperature. Mm, well, whatever. Food temperature. All food temperature requirements shall be met. Well, duh. Now, ice. Well, you consume it, so you gotta look at how it's done. Ice, that's consumed. Or that contacts food. Okay, I got this laying on the food. I, 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 I have it. Made under condition, meaning requirement. Well, no. Guys, shall we attain only block, chip, crust, or keep one? Can you think <laughs> of any other way to get ice? <laughs> block, chip, crust, keep. What other options do you have? <laughs> and it, <laughs> see if you use plastic, wet, wet, drink, paper bag. Wet, shrink, paper bag. Okay. Uh, <laughs> filled and sealed. Okay, okay. Like, like you buy fish in an aquarium or what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ice for the sub and shove the yellow bag until it is. Okay, and spins in a way that protect from contamination. Yep. Mm. No source of Indian attacks. Uh, oh, yeah, now, you know, very important stuff equipment and utensil, design, construction, well, you know, equipment and utensil, assembly design, and construction, to be durable, <laughs> well, from, um, every time, the tech, <laughs> you know, morphine is on health, location, and installation equipment shall be located, installed, and clean, as always, and regular way. In ways that prevent food contamination, that also facilitates 
Cleaning and salvage. Got now hot coat, holding equipment for cooling and heating food, and holding hot cold hot food should be adequate. Yeah, right. Whatever. Of course. Now, shall we? Shall we? Well, you know, this is one of the main things that we protect. Have a laser, right? Oh, don't leave it out there on the counter. Flies all over you. <laughs> the context of equipment shall be protected from damage by consumer. You know, can't handle it. Put it back now. <laughs> or other sources, you know. Uh, flies swarming on it, throwing up on it. When necessary, prevent contamination, effective shields, smart guards, for example. Because that's equipment shall be provided. Alternate manual air wash. Well, you know. Not a lot of this goes on there, but trying to uh wear washing remnants is receptacle that substitute for too much zinc. <laughs> well, maybe used when there are special cleaning or constraint and the regulatory doctor has approved the okay. I mean, good luck on that, needs compartment. So we like, uh, you know what I mean? Oh. When the uh, uh, health department respects, so the, you know, they look at your cart, you know. <laughs> you know, if it looks reasonable, you know, you get by, you know. Basically, basically what happened. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, water. Oh, water, water, everywhere. Water from a food source. Well, you don't go dip it out of a river. A river, a <laughs> river, ah, should be available. Right? Now you need bottled water. <laughs> Don't be too large. The first perfect preparation. And I should clean for sanitizing utensils. Yeah, well, you know, you know, turn up. You know, we're not washing dishes and you know, we drop our spatula. You know, look, you know, clean it. Drink water. You know, we get. I understand, you know, we'll get through it. Water needed to be under pressure. Well, <laughs> water not under pressure. Uh, a spurt or an expert shall come from approved sources, which include commercially bottled drinking water. Yeah, I can just see you washing everything cut with $2 <laughs> a bottle of water. Put clothes, put a water container. Uh, Never seen that in clothes, vehicular water tanks, of course, on premise water storage tanks, or packing to be gone now. But I have seen them. They're on a waistline and cold and hot water lines. Someone that they talk in to help them out on them. Um. Okay. Wet storage. <laughs> Packaged food may not be stored in direct okay. Well, um, ice and water if the food is subject to the entry of water. Well, right. Uh, because of the nature of its packaging, wrapping, or container, or its position in the water. Right? You gotta be in that position, girl. So. <laughs> All this wash is generated from this establishment, you know, yeah. shall be disposed of to, for, yeah, right, public, uh, public sewage system or individual sewage water system. Sign, say, maintain, not really, yeah, right. Hand washing, well, damn it, that has to happen. Here. Yeah, it was so sound good. Uh, no. <laughs> First thing they're going to shut you down is hair washing. I was working at this mobile food cart, you know, and uh, I put our hair washing, so we didn't spray food. So, of course, when I was later here, showed up to help me. Um, the first thing you know is, you know, you can't let the water flow on us in. That was spray spigot. Yeah, mm -hmm. good, good. Oh, plumber on the way, Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, so it's not for my 
fast talking and good living, you know. But anyway, <laughs> it worked out. Mm, let's see. Boys, oh, I'm got on the floor, right? <laughs> it faded to rain, the floor made with concrete and covering. It was going to build <laughs> temporary food site, you know, concrete. Then, <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, okay, I see what's in. It has to be located on that, you know, drive it up there, push it up there, whatever you got to do. <laughs> Great, wait, wait. Dirt. Um, mm. Oh, gravel cover. Nah. Hmm. Okay, um, you're on your own plywood, movable platform, uh, duckboard. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's got covered with mat and other suitable material approved by the regulatory authority. It has such as tarps that affect control dust and mud. Okay. Ceiling as well. Out of collection. Walls and seam. Walls and seam shall be made. Wood, canvas, or other material. Uh, pretty much <laughs> leave that wide open. Uh, <laughs> something to protect. Interior, stems, weather, blah, blah, blah. There be. No, no, no. For example, down, turn off. Uh, there's one dude, um, no, uh, best, worst, that, you know, John, I don't know, he's been there forever. You know, he got grandfathered, you know, you go down there and get his food cart. You know, no screens, no windows, no anything, you know, wide up, you know. But all the rest of my, you know, he's been there for, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. And you know, all the text. 16 mesh hammer. Yeah, okay, what, you know, don't let fly them. Drop design, install, air cutting. Air cutting. Uh, mm -hmm. huh? What's wrong with having air uh, inclusion provision in paragraph 2? Wherever that is. Uh, air sex, yeah. Does not apply. The flying insects are the past the rat. Now, where could that be? Oh, <laughs> in our <Oregon? laughs> uh, <laughs> location establishment. Or the limiting provision. What? Uh, no. Bed and breakfast, you know, days of, you know, lining up, having a up, going in, you know, bullshit, getting up over. A bed and breakfast shall comply with these minimum requirements, okay, of this section facility has more than seven rooms for it, so, unless you only get a, a bedroom or a bedroom or provide food services other than breakfast. We got breakfast is cool. <laughs> Anything else? Well, we gotta look at limited bed and breakfast has seven pure and rent. So it's only breakfast. It's not a retail food. <laughs> well, certified food manager. Uh, well, gotta have that. You know, someone that actually knows what the hell they're doing. Food supplies, food so anything from food sources. Well, you know, we go back to basic. Shall be in sound condition well and be safe for <laughs> That's a good idea. Food <laughs> preparation text. Um, let's see. Temperature run. All food temperature run shall be met. Well, come on now. Uh, it's a basic service. Cleaning and sanitizing. Another basic service. Let's see, we got uh, options here, manual, mechanical, a three compartment sink, which is how you do it, uh, washing, if it's you, <laughs> why would you use three compartment sink, <laughs> washing, rinsing, and sanitizing, uh, sensors, curtain, if done manually, or two compartment sink, maybe use a single service too, um, hmm. Jury's still out on that one. And if an approved took land, jury's still out on that one. We can't, <laughs> can't go. Uh, well, not, we got these robots to come up and wash it. Clean, sanitize. 
Right on straight, straight tech, what straight tech in the okay. Or by another tech machine, huh? Robots in and flying saucers, whatever. Uh, uh, demonstrate, okay. Let me see that. Uh, that is so clean and sanitized, cotton. Well, you know, you get the job done or not. Personal hygiene, well, there's no options here, of course. You know, right. Uh, second phone, good hygiene practice. Uh, uh, probably rest, rest, rest in Chevy available for use by employee. That also includes, you know, restaurant or bar for five. Equipment and special design section. All of them, not some, all. And it's just Chevy constructed. Safe material, you know. You you know, common sense stuff, but you gotta have, you gotta have common sense if you want to do that. Huh? No ears allowed. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Yeah, fancy. Well, but customer employees, but location, accessible, convenient, located, and must see. Huh? I can't have to go. Yeah, back door down down trail <laughs> uh, shall be provided immediately adjacent to food prep. No, that's why you know restaurant site. Uh, no hand washing sinks or for that only. You, know, you um, don't wash your car tires. <laughs> uh, cut food contact services. Oh, food contact services. Not some counters. Works for season and stuff. Well, it have to be, you know, smooth, non permanent. Easy to clean, duh, right? Insects, fish, run, Let's see. How can a food contact serve the insect food run? Um, <laughs> go on now. Got it. Yeah, some other way. I mean, you know, uh, uh, way to keep away from construction. With service preparation, store yeah. Shall be constructed and maintained to venetry, pass, load, or no equipment shall be provided to maintain or right, TCS food. Yeah, Tim's required. Okay. One of the pillars of our, what we do. Garbage recycle. Got a place. Those on the way, you know, not just on the sidewalk. And previous or sec and previous okay, separate shall be provided. And if I some don't have a lid on then in previous receptacle means have a lid on. For storage of garbage. And refuse I refuse this. Now Sewage. Sewage should be yeah, so silly, there it is, so silly system, I don't know if you should, uh, look at that, uh, help work with people. Uh, out there, what's in out there? Well, let's say you go and want to hike up Mount Kilimanjaro. That's an out there. You don't expect it to bring you know, something for you. For you to eat, you know, along the hazardous journey. Yeah. General, climate's in the section of Pacific Coast. Only you outfitters apply. The regulatory time, and the bosses in this thing may impose additional crime. Well, they kind of watch what's going on, you know. Correct like, against health item, eh, maybe specific. Let's see where you doing. <laughs> food supply, food supply, ice, chubby, pain. No, no, can't do this in your home. No. If you want to buy ice, you gotta go to the store buy. No. Can't get ice for you. Now, food temperature. Well, come on now. All food temperatures, climate, shall be met. Uh, you know, basically, come on. We're, we all know this plan. Food prep and protection. Muscosion is the definition. Uh, then I'll put 
Uh, we're going to see a cat map ma Kilimanjaro or to the moon. <laughs> I'm sure you know NASA had different kinds of astronaut astronaut food. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. Only commercial food bags, ready food, ready foods that have been prepared back in well. Yes, no. Uh, no. Uh -oh. Okay. Hmm, let me see. Only question is, uh, you know, if it's um, commercially packaged, you don't have to have several preparations soon. Uh, let's see, raw time pressure. Raw? Okay. Maybe on site. Okay. okay, here we go. So, check that. We're going to have that one. Okay. It uh, has to be made of soda if you can't know. Put in the backpack each month. All food must be thrown to protect from contamination. Okay, right. as contained in you know, TCS foods that require complex preparation. Complex food. On a camp out, <laughs> what kind of food? Well, you know, uh, the rest of you serve it in the toy out. Uh, excursion. Bunch. We're leaving at 5 30 B. That's all we want to know. Okay, you know, that food's gotta go. We gotta, you know, come up with something different. Uh, okay. Now, wear washing. You gotta wash your wear, girl. I'll clean up manual wear washing, bro. Let's see. Um, uh, well, you know, if you're running up a mountain, um, Affairs with technical facilities clean. Uh, <laughs> boy. Okay, I excuse you, I stay used for cooling food. Well, then. If you decide to test, use for uh, keeping the stuff cold, well, you can't. No. Dip cup in it. Some ice in a uh, pot. I don't know what I mean. I don't know. Should we excursion? I mean, well, come on now. We got our food climbing this damn mountain. Eh, um, uh, pot and the world. Let's be sorry. We couldn't stand to him. Anyway, you know, it's always bottle of water stuff. Now, hand wash. Hand wash. So, okay, you're camping up in the mountain. You got you get the rest of it. Hand wash, yeah. Okay. Shell and cook. A container of spigot. You know, it'd be nice if we could wash our hands for a while. You know, it should be. Right? Right? Um, from the pencil tender food. Well, um, well. Alright, now if you're out there on a hiking trail and you cook hamburger, you know, I can't imagine anyone taking a hook tomorrow. You know, Hazards of the business, uh, garbage is spectral. You know, right, you decide to find a place to camp. Okay, there's <laughs> trash can and cleaning. Okay, you know, certified food manager. Yay! That's all. If food other than be packaged. Mm. Well, um, I guess that's the requirement. I'm not really sure if they make that happen, but, you know. Cowboys, uh, beans in the old west. Let me see you. <laughs> food manager, so uh, self service food. Um, self -service, what is self service food? I think that I can think of is like you know, the colleges they have these little areas that you can get food from vending machines, microwave. Well, actually, you, know, you can even pick them up, pick them up. You know, and they trust you and pay for them. <laughs> you know, but hey, you're in college, you're not here, so, you know, hopefully it'll work good if it's correct. Must be maintained, variable, you know, it's, you know, people are doing it for 14 calendar days, I can't see, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I can get rid of it. Provide information to regulatory zone, and to responsible parties. Um, in other words, you know, who we talk to. Pre packaged food, you know, so 
Me, my ring one, we can't put it. <coughs> can I have it? Yep. <coughs> now, please show me Scott if. <coughs> well, okay, well, this is in a container pack that is not there. Also, it has an expiration toy that is not probably much. Well, no. Uh, Self-service to market display units off from refrigeration. Well, that mom has to cut. You see, I should have a mix of self defense. You know, there was a king in there for, you know, refrigerator guy. Uh, there was a power fan. How horrible. We can't play where the case. Well, you know, uh, in the college, the places you can find this, uh, that can be an issue for a condition. Uh, let's see, you can turn it So, okay. No, I don't pass that. Oh, so sorry, she might. Play in its offer. Huh? Equipment with self closing door. Hmm. Okay. Maintain it. Well, yeah, it has to be the right temperature. Self service, she might. So, sign ready visual from. Operate uh, in like a little bit of the guy who's running this to him. Plank comments, shall we rest? Uh, I rest the bins. Well, you know, get all the facts straight. Uh, they're responsible. Bins, tell them you know, who to call. Who to call Ghostbusters, you know. Uh, when a retail food stab offering, uh, see, comfort me in the room. Uh, well, well, so I'm sorry, so I don't have a person standing there. And thank you for your undivided attention. I hope that you learned a lot, and this is me. Lisa Jean, signing out.